All right, so now let's just uh, let's just look at this here. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's uh, so different angle. <laughs> um, uh, I had an interesting week ending. Um, I managed to work on a on a show on my. Google GPS threw me off, so I ended up going through this dirt road, a fire road in Santa Clarita, trying to get to uh, a set, and uh, that was not the correct way to go because the road was washed out, so I ended up getting stuck in the mud, and uh, I had no cell phone coverage, so I had to... Um, basically walk all the way to uh, civilization which was about a mile until I got cell phone coverage and I was trying to call AAA and central casting to let them know I was late got through to central and uh, I told them I don't know how I'm going to make it because I got stuck and this place where I got stuck I, it was like unbelievably desolate and I couldn't believe I was going through this but it said only 1.2 miles to go to the set and uh, I tried to keep going and I went down a hill and before I know it I saw this puddle and I thought I could make it but I got halfway through it and it was basically kind of like a ravine and so there was another car coming it was an old Mercedes Benz and this guy Luke who was a costumer was heading the same way I stopped him and I said hey you're not gonna make it and I said well can we go down and walk and maybe I can push it out with this help he agreed and then before we did that another person showed up he was a stand-in and he was with a lower vehicle and he was trying to make it to that location as well and uh, he got uh, almost stuck as well and I said you're not gonna make it you gotta turn around he turned around um, I don't know he was driving like a low Nissan or, or I don't know maybe it was a Sion Toyota or something that was really low he turned around and we called and I guess we took the route wrong route we should have listened to the map and uh, I went to set and uh, about halfway through the day, they said that, uh, you know, go and have the Teamsters to see if they can remove it. They kind of refused. They said that uh, it would be a liability. I agreed. I said, hey, okay, I'll get AAA to do it. I ended up calling AAA. A flatbed arrived. And uh, instead of getting a wheel lift, which I kind of suggested, he went with the flatbed. And he got to the point where the hill was going down. And he goes, go outside, see if there's somewhere where he could turn around. So I went down there, and there was no place to turn around. It was like two face, kind of cliff faces, it seemed. And so I said, no, there's no way to turn around. But he ends up coming down, and I was like, no, you're not going to make it. And he ends up getting stuck. So the flatbed gets stuck. Now we're both stuck. He ends up calling his dispatch eventually after about an hour or two. And... Uh, they sent a 4x4 pickup truck to pick us up. They picked us up, and I guess the next day they tried to remove the vehicle out of the ravine. And later on that day, I, I had to go to court, and that was another experience. And I was walking, and I called them, and they said that they got their flatbed out. I guess it was like 2 or 3 in the afternoon, and they said my car was still there. So they said you might want to wait a couple days for the mud to dry and uh, you know go back. So I waited till Friday. I ended up rented a car, ended up working on another project, uh, feature film, and I can't say, and signed an ND non-disclosure agreement. And so then after that, I ended up going there, calling AAA. After calling AAA, they came up with a flatbed again. I said, you're not going to make it with the flatbed. And I needed a wheel lift. They said they would reroute it with their wheel lift. And uh, as the tow truck left with the flatbed, I saw this guy with a 4x4. I said, hey, um, you know, I might need your help 
could you tow me out of a tight spot? And how much would you charge me? He said, a hundred bucks. But what's your name? He says, his name is Joe. I go, my name is Joe too. I don't know if my car will start if you, once you do tow it out and we get it out. So I, I'm going to see if I can have AAA do it and I'll call you back. He gave me his number. He says, I'll just go into the bank. Call me back if you, you know, decide either way I can get you out. He says, so, uh, he says he lives out there and, uh, you know, he gets water from the ground and they're self resilient people that live out there in that Santa Clarita area. And so I said, okay. So, uh, I called AAA, AAA canceled. They said they're not going to do it. So I called him up and he goes, okay, I live out here. I just got to get a piece of rope. I got this kinetic rope. I guess it was like a couple hundred bucks for this special rope he got. So we go to his place and he's got like 20 acres and, um, you know, it's very hilly and we end up going to the location and this is the juicy part. He hooks it up to the axle. I help him a little bit. I get in the car. He starts towing me out. Next thing I know, I'm over the face of the, 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 the kind of a cliff and, uh, he guns it, gets me out of that mess and he's howling he's like this was great i'm shaking um i asked him for a cigarette i don't even smoke after that incident i mean i saw my life flash before me going through that cliff it was just amazing the way he managed to get me out and on that note i drove out the rest of the way he got me to a safe patch where i could turn around and i drove up Drove to the liquor store where um, the Teamsters dropped me off a couple days before uh, in order to get to AAA. And uh, I towed my vehicle home. And now I uh, decided to get rid of the Mustang. And now I purchased a, a Toyota Matrix. And then now here we are today. And I just finished going back to the mechanic and just doing some window stripping and he changed the transmission fluid the day before and, uh, you know, have a slight leak, but he says not to worry. And uh, hopefully I can keep this for, you know, 200,000 miles. Uh, it's a Matrix made in Canada and a 2010. So maybe I can, if times get tough, I could do Uber or, uh, what is it, Post-its or... Uh, what's a dash driver or drive dash or something like that so here I am I was going to give you a good signal but there I am I'm off